Hello everyone, this is Slidehan for you. To visit my channel, type www.youtube.com slash Slidehan. In this tutorial, we will learn union in C. Here we learn what is union, how to use union in program, how to access the member of the union, and many other things. First, we have to know what is a union. A union is a collection of variables of different data types, same as structure. But only difference is, a union enables us to treat the same space in memory as a number of different variables. Let us see the syntax of union. First write the keyword union, then tag name, and a pair of curly braces followed by a semicolon. Within the curly braces, we have to declare the members of the union. You can see here, union definition is same as the structure. The only difference is, in case of structure, we use a struct keyword instead of union. Next, we learn how to use union in a program and how to access the member of the union. To define a union, first write the keyword union. Then tag name, let's say student. A pair of curly braces followed by a semicolon. Next, inside the curly braces, we have to define the member of this union student. First, I'm going to declare an integer type variable int role. Then, I'm going to create a character type variable char name. Next, we learn how to declare a variable of this union student. First, write the keyword union, then tag name student, and then variable name, let's say std. So now, std is a variable of type student. Next, we learn how to initialize or use the union member. Same as the structure, we use a dot operator to access the union member. First, write the variable name, that is std, dot operator, and then union member. I'm going to write here role. Since role is an integer type variable, so I'm going to write here an integer number, let's say 5. Then std.name equal to a. Let's print it out these values to the screen. For that, I'm gonna use here printf statement. printf new line role equal to percent %d since role is an integer type variable, that's why we use here person %d. And then we refer here std.role. Next, we printed out the name. Printf new line name equal to person %c. And here we refer std.name. Let us check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print name equal to A that we have initialized in the program. But it prints some garbage value as role. Now the question is why? Okay, let me explain. When we declare a union variable using this statement, compiler automatically allocates some space in memory which is equal to the size of largest member of union. Here we declare two members, integer and character. Integer takes 4 bytes and character takes 1 byte. So, compiler allocate 4 bytes in memory. Let's check it. Here I am going to print it out the size of the union using printf statement. Printf size equal to percent %d. And here we use size of operator to find the size of union size of union student. Let us check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here, it prints size equal to 4. four. Suppose this is a memory of 4 bytes. This memory space is shared by both of the two variables, role and name. When we assign value to the variable role using this statement, Compiler stored this value to the memory location. So now memory hold 5. After this, when we assign value for the name variable, then this value overwritten and store the new value. 
since the memory store only one value at a time, so when we store the name, role is corrupted. That's why it prints some garbage value as role. Next, I'm going to initialize the name variable after printed out the role. I'm going to cut it and paste here. Let's check what happened. As you can see here, this time it print both the role and name correctly. Because here we printed out the role before it corrupted. That's why it print role correctly. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and click on the like button on YouTube.